Think of British sports cars and there's always a few brands that spring to mind. Today we've gathered together three of the industry's smallest, most specialised and most challenging brands. First up, from the Wiltshire-based manufacturer that boasts 100 car sales a year and competes in the national GT circuit, the Marcos Manta Ray. Then, from a vintage factory in the beautiful Malvern Hills, the Morgan Plus 8, built using vintage methods. In just 10 to 12 weeks, it's not surprising there's a six-year waiting list for this instant classic. And last, but by no means least, this astonishing little road-going racer from Westfield. It's appropriately nicknamed the Animal but it's more officially known as the S8. Marcos seem to believe in evolution rather than revolution, and the Manta Ray is no exception to this rule. They've decided to trade in the infamous and frankly ugly hindquarters of the previous Mantara for a more conventional tail, which now matches the aggressive snout. There's a satisfying area of quality about the interior that you notice straight away, and there are some nice touches too, such as you don't mess about dragging the seat forwards to get to the pedals. You simply reach under the dashboard, press a button, and electronically bring the pedals to you. Very nice. Put down and the wind noise is kept to a minimum, but let's face it, if you're driving this in the UK, you'll be cruising with the lid on, which isn't quite as enjoyable. Inside, most of the switch gear is Ford sourced, so it's hardly bespoke in here, but it's sensibly laid out and well fitted, and everything else is either made of wood or covered in leather, as it should be. So, the Manta Ray comes in at £35,995, and it can trace its heritage straight back to the racetrack which means it's incredibly good fun to drive. And it's not difficult to see that Marcos have TVR very much in their sights with this car, and I reckon they stand a good chance. So what do we make of Morgan's offering? Well, straight away, it couldn't be much more different. <laughs> Hello there. Don't try leaping in this thing or you will injure yourself, but once you've actually got in, it feels just right. There's plenty of room even for lanky drivers. It's got a superb, enormous upright steering wheel and a stubby gear lever barely inches away. And if you add to that the optional leather, the mohair hood and the walnut dash, well, you could be settling back in your great aunt's boudoir. I just need the ticking of the grandfather clock. <laughs> Sports cars bearing the Morgan name have been crafted within the same walls for more than 70 years. The unique vintage character provides the appeal, but the Plus 8 is more compelling than just that. It has eight cylinders crammed underneath that long Louvre bonnet that stretches for furlongs in front of you. It may look like a quaint old lady, but don't let that fool you. Think of it as your granny with a machine gun. Westfield S8 and the only way to describe this car is an absolute beast. Now this is as close as you'll ever get to one of those go-karts down at your local track. It weighs little more than a Mini but is powered by an incredible engine, a 3.9 litre V8 that's been borrowed from Rover that produces a whopping 270 brake horsepower. Get your foot down, you feel every single one of them pumping through this car. It's an incredible feeling and it's possibly the closest thing you'll get to experience what being struck by a bolt of lightning is like. The Westfield's appeal runs far deeper than just being packed with power because it handles well too and it won't punish you for over-enthusiasm. The only punishment you're likely to suffer is it's your wallet because you'll become very good friends with your petrol station attendant. 
Our only criticism is slight concerns about the build quality. But remember, this is back to basics motoring. These cars are produced in very small numbers, so you're not going to get the same kind of build quality and engineering as you would in a mass-produced vehicle. The only thing these cars have in common is a hard-charging V8 engine. Their characters, however, couldn't be more different. Which means there will probably be only one that suits you. Well, it would be a dull world if we're all the same now, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Can I have the Morgan, then? Mm, quite fancy the Marcos. Yeah. I wonder what that says about us.